Ashkatala. You are worthy. You are wonderful, Sigala. Jesus. presence in our midst we say thank you for your goodness we say thank you for the gift of life we say thank you for privilege and opportunity we say thank you Lord we worship your name we return all praises 
all honor to you father be magnified in the name of jesus christ we worship your name oh god we thank you because you use us as a vessel oh jehovah we thank you because you never abandoned us lord we thank you in the name of jesus christ lord speak to us in the name of jesus speak to us in the name of jesus speak to us in the name of jesus thank you holy spirit to you be all the praise and honor in jesus glorious name we pray hallelujah if you're happy shout hallelujah Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor you are welcome in Jesus' name. Receive the spirit of gratitude in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I want you to gladly have your seat. Quiet. Thank you very much. You will be coming back in a short moment. Just be prepared. Just be prepared. Huh? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I want to appreciate God for this great privilege given to me to stand before you this morning. And I want to appreciate uh, God's and the apostle over this commission. And I want to pray for more grace upon his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I appreciate every pastors and every one of us that have come to worship God this morning. It is my prayer that God will meet us at the points of our needs in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a month of gratitude. The month of gratitude. Hallelujah. 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 Quickly, we are looking at the blessing of gratitude. The blessing. The blessing of gratitude. The blessing of gratitude. Hallelujah. The blessing of gratitude. If you don't understand what gratitude is, I pray you will not be granted. Amen. Because if your heart is not full of gratitude, things around you will be granted. Gratitude is having a heart of appreciation. Mm -hmm. Gratitude is having a heart of saying, God, I thank you. There is difference between thanksgiving and thanks living. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Thanks living. That means every day of your life you give him thanks. Thanksgiving, you come occasionally to church and give thanks. The ultimate life to live is thanks living. Thanks living. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. The blessing of gratitude. The blessing of gratitude. Talk with me to Psalm 92, verse 1. Verse 2, verse 3, Psalm 92, verse 1, verse 2, and verse 3. Psalm 92, okay, good. Hallelujah. Psalm 92. It is a good, it is what? Good to give thanks unto what? To the Lord. It is good 
to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praise to your name O Most High to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night that means when you are when you wake up, you declare his loving kindness. There at night, oh Lord, thank you for your faithfulness. He said, on what? An instrument of what? Ten strings. On what? The lid of what? On harps and with what? Harmonious what? Sound. Hallelujah. Now, let's go to verse 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Verse 10. But my home you have what? Exalted. Like what? A white ox. King James will say a unicorn. And I have what? I've been anointed with what? Fresh oil. Verse 11. My eyes also have seen my desire on my enemies. My ears hear my desire on the wicked who rise up against me. Next verse. The righteous shall what? Flourish like what? A palm tree. He, will, he shall grow like what? Seek that in Lebanon. Next verse. Verse 13. Those who are what? Planted in what? The house of the Lord shall flourish in what? The court of what? Our God. Verse 14. They shall what? They shall still what? Bear fruits in what? Old age. And they shall be what? Fresh and what? Mm, just connect this word. Fresh and flourishing. Verse 15. To declare that the law is upright. He is my what? Rock. And there is no unrighteousness in him. Hallelujah. 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 When your gratitude become your lifestyle, you keep scaling in higher altitude. He said, It is good to give thanks unto the Lord. Giving thanks to the Lord is not just to delay service. Praise and worship is not just for you to come and dance. It has a spiritual dimension to connect you to the throne. While you sing and praise and dance to him. So, when gratitude, when thanksgiving become your lifestyle, you will be flying up there. Because that will be your attitude. When your heart is full of gratitude, you will never see what God has not done. All you keep seeing is what he has done. You, you will be blinded to what is not happening. All you see is things that are happening. So, gratitude is what connects you to the realms of a higher aptitude. Do you know that thanking God is spiritual? Hello? Hi. Hello? 
thanking God is spiritual. But today we take it as a kind of thing. Is it not just to thank God? It is more than just thanking. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can never be grateful and not, and not be joyful. Hello. Hi. You cannot be grateful. And not be joyful. Hello. And this place is called fired of joy. Fired is where you plant something, isn't it? That means this where you plant joy. But it's like, it's like we are we are not maximizing that planting of joy. Hallelujah. You cannot be in this church and not laugh. <laughs> Hello. Okay, just like the couple that came to the dedication. <laughs> Hello. That is reality movie part one. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? You cannot fake it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I, I love those couples. You cannot fake it. Don't fake it. Yes. If you don't have it, you cannot fake it. That is just the truth. But maybe some of us will fake it and still we are in trouble. Do you know what those couple just showed to us? We are not there yet. We needed help. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Covenant couple, please take note of that couple. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are not there yet. But we needed help. But some of us will come and fake it. And we are not, we will not be there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You cannot be grateful and not be joyful. So gratitude has joy as its tap root. Thank you. Gratitude, thanksgiving, has joy as his tap root. He said, Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. So, what keeps you going is gratitude that has joy. Hallelujah! 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 Amen. Gratitude that has joy. Amen. 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 So gratefulness will be joyful. Will be joyful. Gratefulness you will be joyful. And joy is the booster of strength. Joy is the booster of, of strength. Praise the Lord. So what are these blessings in gratitude? Psalm 100 verse 4. Psalm 100 verse 4. Enter into his gates. Not your gates now. Not our gates now. Enter into what? His gates. With what? Not one gate now. There is S there. So it's plural. Enter into his gates. With what? Thanksgiving. And into his court. With what? Praises. Be thankful to him. And what? Bless his name. So, number one blessing of Gratitude is access to his thanksgiving or gratitude give you access to his presence. Hallelujah. Enter
enter into his gates with what? Thanksgiving. Into his courts with praise. So, those of us that come to worship center after praise and worship, we didn't enter his gates. Hello, hello. We didn't enter. We didn't enter. And let them be singing. I'm coming. Do you know what you are saying? Let those babies be thanking God. Me, that is the big man. I will come in after. When you are too big to thank God, you will be too small to be qualified for His blessing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, thanksgiving give you access. To his presence. That means when you thank God, you are bringing his presence to your presence. When you are full of gratitude, you are bringing his presence to your presence. No wonder Moses said, Lord, if your presence did not go, I will not move. Church, it is risky to live a life without God's presence. Hello. Hello. It is risky. Oh, Jesus. The accident that happened at Ojodu. One of the parents was saying the daughter did not want to go to school that day. Hello. Mm. But look at what happened. So, so that is why it is risky to live life without God's presence. Without God's presence. Hello. It is risky. A thanksgiving give you a cheap access. A cheap access to his presence. Remember the psalm we read. He said, It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing to his name. Hallelujah. 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 God was with Joseph. Joseph. The presence of God in his life made him a king out of slavery. Made him a king out of slavery in the house of Potiphar. The Bible says, and God was with Joseph. Genesis chapter 39, verse 4 and verse 5. Genesis chapter 39, verse 4 and verse 5. Hallelujah. So Joseph found favor in the what? He decides and what? Served him. Then he made him what? Overseer of what? His house. And all that he had what? Put under what? His authority. Verse 5. So it was what? From time to that what? And what? Made him what? Overseer of what? Of his house. And all that what? The Lord had. The Lord what? Blessed him. The Egyptian's house. Because of what? And the blessing of the Lord was on what? On all that he what? He do in the house. So, who is you to live a life without God's presence? 
This man was a slave. But because God was with him, he was made a king. Overseer. 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 Hallelujah. Even in that same story of Joseph, why he was kept in the prison, because of God that was with him, he was transformed from a prisoner to a prison staff. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't mind, don't mind, don't mind. Thank you. Don't mind, thank you. Hallelujah. He was transformed from a prison staff, a, a, a prisoner, to a prison staff. He said they made him what? the keeper of what? Of the cell. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because what? God's presence was what? With him. God's presence was with him. God's presence was with him. That is what gratitude does. It gives you access to his presence. Number two blessing of gratitude. It gives you divine strength. It gives you access to divine strength. Hallelujah. He gives you what? Access to divine strength. Psalm 84 verse 7. Psalm 84 verse 7. Psalm 84 verse 7. Studio help me. Psalm 84 verse 7. Hallelujah. They go from what? Strength to strength. Each one appears before God in Zion. They go from strength. That means when you are full of gratitude, there is no weakness in your system. Hello. Hello. When you are full of what? Gratitude. You have access to divine strength to do things that is beyond your capacity. You do things that is beyond your age. Hallelujah. 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 Divine strength. Come on, say divine strength. Hallelujah. When you walk in divine strength, it indicates that you are a man and a woman of revelation. Because what gives you divine strength is not a product of what you see physically. Is a product of the revelation that comes from the inward part of you. No wonder Daniel said, They that know their God, they shall be strong and do exploits. Hallelujah. That is getting revelation and thanksgiving. Give you access to divine strength from the platform of revelation. Hallelujah. From the platform of revelation. And revelation flow from naturally from his presence. Hallelujah. Revelation flows naturally from his presence. Amen. 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 When you walk in divine strength, things that bother others never bother you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Do you know that it is lack of revelation that make you to complain? It's lack of revelation that make you complain. If you that is what the children of Israel lack when they left Egypt. They began to mourn. They oh, began to complain. And their life was granted in the wilderness. Hallelujah. They ended up in the wilderness. When you complain, you don't go anywhere. Instead of you going up and down complaining, why not sit down and get revelation? By simply having a heart of gratitude. Hallelujah. By simply having a heart of gratitude. Amen. 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 Church, let's take note of this. Testimony gives you access to the story behind the glory. Hello. Testimony gives you access to the story behind the glory. Are you with me? Yes, so sir. that means when somebody comes to share testimony, the person comes to tell you the story of what he or she has done that is bringing the glory. So if you if you don't have access to the story, you cannot have access to the glory or you cannot be a partaker of that of the glorious testimony hallelujah hallelujah i pity you if you if you mock at people that come to testify I pity you. Praise the Lord. If you despise people that testify, your life will become barren. Hello. David was testifying and worshiping. The woman despised him in her heart. She died as the only woman in Bible history that died as a barren. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you want to be like her? No, sir. That will not be your portion. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I said that will not be our portion. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Number three. Blessing of gratitude. Blessing of gratitude. Thanksgiving gives you access to be ever refreshed. To be ever refreshed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Thanksgiving pour on you fresh oil. Fresh oil. Psalm 89, verse 20. Psalm 89, verse 20. Studio, quickly help me. Psalm 89, verse 20. Psalm 89 verse 20. He said, I have found my servant, David, with my only oil of what have I anointed him. I have found my servant, David, with my only oil. When oil comes on you, what does it do? 
It keeps you refreshed. It keeps you afresh. So, with a heart of gratitude, you are always afresh. You are always refreshed with a heart of gratitude. Hallelujah. With a heart of gratitude, your, your face will ever shine. That's why people look at you and say, ah, That was for you. How are you doing? You are just shining. You are shining. The secret is gratitude. Is a covenant access for fresh oil. Hallelujah. I have found my servant David. What is the attribute of David? A man that is full of thanksgiving. Somebody that danced before God nakedly. One that thank God by the man in his position. Hello. He undermined his his kingship position. He Anytime he is before God, Lord, I am the lesser king. You are the bigger king. Amen. Amen. When it is time for praise and worship, choir are singing. Only the choir will be doing the dancing. The rest of us are doing. Hello. Being born again does not make you, does not say you should do that before your God. Hello. When we are outside there, you dance. But when, you are, when you are in, in, the, in, in the worship center, you, you, you fake yourself. God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. I say, God will help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you still with me? Yes, sir. When you read that Psalm uh, 92, when you read that Psalm 92 from verse 10, it said, he, I think verse 11, it said, He what? He gave us what? Fresh oil. Fresh what? Oil. Fresh oil. What is the essence of fresh oil? It, it signifies divine enabling. Divine approval. Hallelujah. Are uh, you still with me? Are uh, you still with me? So God is always looking for thanksgivers. That he will he want to pour oil upon. As I said, he has found David. Hallelujah. Amen. He has what? Found David. So when you keep when you have a heart of gratitude, the oil keep flowing on your life. The oil keep flowing on your life. The oil keep flowing on your life. Psalm 119 verse 164. Psalm 119 verse 164. Psalm 119 verse 164. Yes, hallelujah. It says seven times a day are we what? I praise you because of what? Your righteous judgment. Seven times in a day, I will what? I will praise you. How many of us have that attitude, habit? How many of us? Seven times in a day, I will praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You get to your club or you get to your office. 
before you open the office after speaking in tongue you start out 30 minutes and you dance and praise him after 2 hours you lock up and dance again for under 30 minutes after 2 hours you lock up again and dance for 30 minutes hello <laughs> How many of us can do that? This was the lifestyle of David. Because he is always full of gratitude. Amen. 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 You see, when you are a person of gratitude, you your the way you do this may look will look crazy in the eyes of people. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. It makes you look crazy in the sight of people. That uh, place in Malaga, I said, he said, when the fig tree failed to produce, I will still praise you and have joy. Hallelujah. There's a big revelation there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you still with me? Are you still with me? Yes, sir. God wants us to have a heart of gratitude. He wants us to have a heart of gratitude. Amen. 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 Uh, Psalm number four. Number four. Abi? Yes, sir. Number four blessing of gratitude. It gives you access to sweatless victory. It gives you access to sweatless victory. Hallelujah. Access to what? Sweatless victory. Psalm 92 verse 11. Psalm 92 verse 11. My eyes, let's, let's read together. Want to go. My eyes also have seen my desire on my choke for what? Uh -huh. eh? Did he carry gun? Uh -huh. Did he carry AK-47? My eyes I've seen my desire on what my enemy, my ears hear my what desire on what the wicked who are oh bara da 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 sweatless victory sweatless victory you didn't carry AK-47 you didn't carry cutlass you didn't carry axe because you have a desire that the enemy will not prosper God will just start killing them hallelujah he said the the wicked that what rise up against I want that so did they notice me ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Receive that ocean of gratitude. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That is why David was having sweatless victory. Amen. 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 That means God takes over your battle. When the children of Israel we are surrounded with four nations. He said of them to begin to write America to send uh, to Kano Plain. <laughs> Amen. 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 He said of them to write Japan to send war plane or France or whatever. 
God said, forget about the canoe play. Raise me a choir. Mm. Raise me a choir. Raise me a singer. People that will worship me. And they began to worship God. The Bible says, and the Lord converted their sound to a sound of war and they ran. Hello. What is that thing that is pursuing you? Why not engage in quality praise and thanksgiving? And see what God is going to do. Because, because when you thank God, you have a sweatless victory. He takes over your battle. He takes over your battle. When you celebrate Jesus, He takes care of every other thing. Hallelujah. God never joke with somebody that is a that that have a mindset of gratitude. God never joke with such people. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is why he was not, he, he never joke with David. He never, he never, he never. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Number five. Carol. Gratitude Imore. give you access to a higher realm of life. To a higher realm of life. Psalm 92 verse 12. Psalm 92 verse 12. Psalm 92 verse 12. Mm. The righteous shall flourish like what? A palm tree. He shall grow like cedar in what? In Lebanon. Ay, 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 ay. Gratitude makes you flourish. Where others are complaining, you are flourishing. You are flourishing. You are flourishing. You are flourishing. Others are complaining. You are buying houses. You are building. You are giving people scholarship. Look, anyone that complains of your progress will never get it. Hello. Hello. Hi. There is no two way about it. Because the one that is full of gratitude is living a higher dimension. But when you are not full of gratitude, you are living a lower life. Okay. I mean, we did English in school, Abi. Yes, sir. Opposite of flourish. Eh? Dryness. Hello? Hello? So if you don't thank God. Sorry. If you don't thank God, your life will be dry. How long will you continue to live that kind of life? But when you have a heart of gratitude, you will always flourish. Lastly, number six. Let's go to go to the next verse studio. Go to the verse 13. Psalm 92. Okay. okay. 14. Go to 14. Yes. He said, They shall what? Bear fruit in what? Old age. Huh. 
That means when you are full of gratitude, you have access to old age. That means untimely death is never your portion. Hello. God, if there are anything God finds difficult to do, God finds it difficult to replace somebody that is full of heart of gratitude. Hello. Hello. God finds it difficult. So, thanking God give you access to fruitfulness in old age. Fruitfulness in old age. Hallelujah. So when we say our covenant in this uh, assembly, when we say our covenant in this assembly is 120. The secret is having a mindset of gratitude. That is why we organize evening of praise and worship. That is why we organize praise nights. But really many of us appear. And you come and say, ah, our covenant is 120. 120 yes, 120 yes. When you don't work in the secret. Hello. Rise to your feet. The blessing of gratitude. The blessing of gratitude. It gives you access to what? His presence. Access to divine strength. Number three. Ever refreshed. Ever what? Refreshed. Number four. Access to sweatless victory. Access to what? Sweatless victory. Number five. Access to a higher realm of life. A higher what? realm of life. Number six. Access to fruitfulness in old age. age. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the, these are the six blessings in gratitude. So this month has been declared a month of gratitude so that it will sink into our system. Please note, it is not it is not only when it, it is December you are full of gratitude. It should extend to every other month. Amen. Lord, I receive a heart of gratitude. I repent from not giving you thanks. I repent from it. And give me a heart of gratitude. Open your mouth and pray right now. La roshka pateha. Zagada de hata la roshka. Jabala de rekotoska pala. Na braba kete leoke behese pragadeshka. Libra da katoske pragadeshka lani. Jarabade kataladoshka. Pape ketoske pragadaka. In the name of Jesus, Babot ke prada le hatakadash. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Fire. Praise. La jure. Do you know that it is a supernatural wisdom? Show my weapon. Something is falling in your eyes physically. Don't you be 
You say, Lord, I thank you. <laughs> Hello. It kills every anxiety, every every anxiety he gives it. Do you know that gratitude is a cure to high blood pressure? Do you know? Show more. What is supposed to make you sad and cry? You are not crying. You are not sad. You just sit down and begin to laugh. And begin to dance. After dancing, why would you not sleep? Hello? Why would you sleep? Lord, I receive the spirit of gratitude. Just as David had it. Give me the spirit of gratitude. Open your mouth and pray right now. I receive the spirit of gratitude. I receive the spirit of gratitude. Great is thy faithfulness. faithfulness. Hey. I receive the spirit of gratitude. I receive the spirit of gratitude. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your eyes. When you thank God for what he has done, it opens you access to what he's going to do. When you thank God for what you have, God begin to look at what you don't have and begin to do them. That is what Thanksgiving does. Every time we receive our salary, we complain. Why not say, Lord? Thank you for this big salary. And see what God is going to do. Five tiny loaves. And two tiny fish. Lord, I thank you. that it is never enough. So that means in, when you have the mindset of thanksgiving, of gratitude, things will always be enough. Now I want to give you just one minute to be grateful for that thing, God, that your position, that your salary, that your accommodation, to be grateful for that your position and see what he's going to do. Open your mouth and begin to talk to God. Just Lord God in heaven, I thank you, O Lord. I worship you. I give you glory, O Lord. I thank you, O oh Lord, 
Lord, for this big house. Thank you, O oh Lord, for this big shop. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Jesus, for this great mansion. Lord, I worship you. I exalt you, Father. I say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. For this big salary, thank Lord you for fire of joy. For this great joy, Father God, I give you glory. We will worship you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. 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 Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. Maraka Fuzada, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus. Precious name we pray. Amen. Fire. Father, we thank you. We, ret we return all the glory to you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Fire. Choir. Emi ajo ori baba mi awu. Emi ajo inu jesu adu si mi o. Hey. Ijo mbelese mi majo. Hey. Uh, you don't know the song. No, this is this is the way I know the song. Just listen. Emi ajo, baba mi awu. Emi ajo, inu Jesu adu si mi o. Orin bele nu mi o mako. Ijo bele se mi o majo. Macho, Tori Jesu mi bela. That is how I know the song. Is that how you know the song? That is that. So, Kwaya. Emi ajo, Ori Papa mi awu. Emi ajo, Inu Jesu adu si mi o. Ori bele no mi mako. Ijo bele se mi majo E mi ajo o tori jesu wala ye E mi ajo ori baba mi awu Can I hear you? E mi ajo ori baba mi awu E mi ajo